Good evening. My name is Dr. Dawn Green, Associate Superintendent of School City of Hammond, and I'm thrilled to be here on behalf of the Hammond Academy of Performing Arts, HAPA, as we celebrate Women's History Month and the world premiere of a play written by a remarkable young woman from right here in our community. Valerie and the Curse of Faith is the first play written and artistically driven entirely by our HAPA students. What you will see tonight is a part of a process, a growth, idea of creating and giving voice. These young people are showcasing their gifts, but also their ability to lead and create change. HAPA senior Yvette McGee, Valerie and the Curse of Fate playwright, was a little nervous when asked to write an original play for HAPA. Yvette was, or has always been, a writer, but had largely explored poetry. Not a full dramatic production. However, despite her fears, Yvette rose to the occasion and met the moment by writing her first full-length play, Valerie and the Curse of Fate. Throughout this month, we have explored the artistic influences of leading women in the arts. Yvette exemplifies that leadership. HAPA strives to empower artists through expression with over 80 various events per year. The School City of Hammond is committed to arts experiences for students of all ages within and beyond the classroom. Visit HammondAPA.com so that you can apply to become a part of our journey. And now, I am so excited to invite you into Valerie's magical world as she tries to escape her fate. Enjoy the show. I was there one seat away. I moved to the bottom row all depending on chance, and in my hands, I held my fate. Alrighty, class. This is where we're going to be. Every part of me had known that fate had already chosen, that it wanted to lead me to trouble. <laughs> See, Jimmy and I hate to pop your bubble, but if we're gonna cause you any trouble, I'm trying to borrow a pencil. Trouble's all he brought. I felt our future when he talked. We fell in love. Time was tied up in his tongue. My instincts told me to run, but I reached inside my binder, put out a pencil and said, what's up, my name's Valerie. God, what have I done? This curse can never let me free. You're looking short. I appreciate it. I think when they get fully situated, you see, my name is Anthony Cortez, and I got a feeling your name is one I'll ever forget. Girl, don't listen to the game he's been. He ain't with it. I'm not really a player. I always respect the ladies. But could you do me a favor? What? <laughs> Let me copy your paper. Hey, guys, that's enough chit chat. I want to see the papers done. Two paragraphs about music influences Hinduism. My favorite, I pray to you. Is this really it? <laughs> my visions must be dreaming because I'm just not believing that this boy from the trenches is going to steal my heart. The future I see always changes. There's a million different ways for how the next day is. But for now, I'll keep my distance. Fate is somehow always winning. And I'm afraid to see the ending, but this is just the beginning. <laughs> I haven't really known him for that long. For the most part, he's cool. We had a few conversations when we sat in the top row. But let me tell you, nothing bigger than his ego. But it doesn't open up too easily. You know, they say girls love a mystery. This ain't Twilight. I don't think he's full of misery. I think he just knows trust is something that you gotta earn. Do I trust this? Do I trust dreams? Do I trust fate? Why can't I see? This whole thing is going to make my world shake. They don't name earthquakes, but I know mine, Anthony. Here go. Yeah? Let me walk out. What's up with this girl? Why is it her? Why is she going to be one to shake on my rope? Because I've seen the end, and I know it's not fun. I don't want to end it before it begun. I have vision of crying, and I know it's for me. She has tears on her face, and she's out on her knees but I've broken a million hearts before. Tell me about yourself, Valerie. You jumped straight into it, huh? What's wrong with that? Life is too short to be chopping over a bull. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you want me to say? I'm not sure you're like, what grade you in? Something random. 
Tell them about Valerie. All right. Well, I'm a sophomore and I believe in aliens. Okay, you look weird, I see. Yeah, but I'm the realest you love in me. So you think you're real now? I don't think. I just know. Okay, look, I need you to calm down. Little guy. Oh, so you think you're big and bad now. <laughs> I'm grown, shorty. What you mean? I'm from the shy. Nothing. Just know that. We'll see. Little guy. I see. Now we're going to fight. You seem to resort to violence real quick. <laughs> I'm not a violent person at all. Unless you make me mad because I got some serious anger issues. Well, I guess I got to stay on your good side. I don't want you losing your temper because then I'm going to have to hurt you. Oh, you mess around a lot, huh? I like your vibe, Shree. Well, I like that you like my vibe. But hey, I'll chop it up with you later. All right, I'm going to see you around. Is this it? <laughs> Is this the beginning? What am I feeling? Why can't I see his fate? I mean, I already know I'm going to get hurt. I said I'd keep my distance, but what's love without a little pain? Best friend. Hey, Jay. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm just chilling. No, you're not. Something's on your mind, and I know you. I had a vision. And in your vision, did you see a boyfriend for me? Because I'm tired of being single. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. Oh, and is he cute? Rich? Does he have a six pack or is he broke? And that's why you see they're all sad because all you see is a 2006 Honda in your future. Boy, stop it. This is a serious matter. Okay, okay. Let me get my serious shades on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not for to entertain this. Girl, just tell me because my 10 piece McDougal with a large fry and strawberry milkshake is calling my name across the street and 15 minutes before the bus comes. So spill the tea. I met a boy. <gasps> so he is a boy. You see, I always know when you're feeling the baby. I met a boy, and his name is Anthony. But fate showed me nothing. Nothing but blurry faces and fast moving things. All I had was feelings, just strong, overwhelming emotions. Okay. And what's the problem with that? It's good to have a little surprise in your life. Don't you get tired of knowing how everything's going to play out? Yeah, but something about this doesn't feel right. I've never had a vision like that. In every single life, I see everybody's life with clarity. It doesn't make sense I can only feel his future, but I can't see it. Girl, it'll come around. Just relax and enjoy the ride. You stress way too much, and you would think that after so many years of life, you would have learned how to chill by now. I met him for the first time today, but these emotions I had, they were so strong. Like I've lived through them already and I was only remembering them. I've lived a hundred lifetimes, but I don't remember meeting Anthony. Okay. Valerie, you've got fate in your hands. Just go and change it. You want him to leave you alone? Do it. You want to run off and have his kids? Do it. Trust yourself. It's never failed yet. I don't have fate in my hands. She has me and hers. And as long as she's pulling the strings, she's going to screw me over. I know that if you tried, you could stop the sea. You could charm the bees. Persuade the trees. Other poetic stuff like that. Look. I got my McNuggets rating, and they're losing their patience. It was that convincing. That made me sit down and listen to what the gods really had to say. So when I went home and prayed that they would show me the way. But fate has always cursed me. Hey, bro. Don't act like we ain't seen you with shorty. I don't know what you're talking about. No, we saw you, and I know you see us see you. Oh, my God. Chill, chill. It's just a random girl from class. She ain't nobody special. Exactly. You already know how my boy gets down. <laughs> you already know. Y'all are something else, man, but I got to go. I'm going to catch y'all at the crib. Oh, man, they knew. Now was I the truth. That destiny has shown me my heart was in the hands of a girl named Valerie. 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 
So, what's her name? Valor. I'm in Ohio is going to do me like this. Do you like what? Like this, not giving me the answers to the bear ringer. It's just the questions from the, from the, what we went over yesterday, and you will know them if you're paying attention. What you mean you weren't paying attention either? No, I know because you were talking to me. Oh, for real? Damn, that's crazy because I got the answers to them and you don't. Funny how that works, ain't it? Nah, I'm just messing with you here. I thought so. Wait, what if I take my paper back? Because I'll take my paper back. I'm crossing them. I don't like that. What's wrong with me crossing my legs? I don't know. It's just a little pet peeve of mine. And I'm supposed to care about your pet peeves because... Nah, for real. He really think we care about his feelings. That's cute. Real cute. That's the way, you know, females really be testing my patience. Oh, but who wanna cry? Someone pass him a tissue. Nah, you went. Chill. Well, damn, we was just playing. Chill. Yesterday, we started talking about music and Hinduism. Now, music plays a huge role in religion in general. Rather, it's for worship or ministry. Turn off your phone. Anyways. Now, in Hinduism, they believe strongly in karma. The idea that what goes around comes around. Does anyone else here believe in karma? Um, I don't. I think that no matter how good of a person you are, bad things can still happen to you. I would say that's what most people believe in. My chatterbox is in the front. What do you think? I know too much about karma. <laughs> about paying for your sins. I spent every life paying for the same one over and over again. So why don't you tell me about karma? Because she's been no friend of mine. I believe in it like the Hindus do. I believe that once you've been a good enough person, you can stop your cycle of reincarnation. That's your reward, finally being free. Very interesting, Val. And he's correct. The Hindus believe that breaking the cycle of reincarnation is the main goal of life. No more pain, no more suffering. Today, I'm going to start by showing you guys a documentary about Hindu gods and goddesses. You see, Shorty, I'm Hindu school. Well, what do you believe? In Santeria. They're Cuban? My grandfather is. What you know about it? I know a believer. A long time ago. <laughs> you say that like you're old or something. I guess you can say I have an old soul. Hey, love birds. I'm watching the movie. In every life, my soul is all that stays the same. Never my face, sometimes my name. I've been Valerie once before, but I can't escape these memories. My regrets, they haunt me. She haunts me. And I will never forgive myself. Her name was Catalina, and it was in a time when a miracle was yet to be free. To smell the American air is like smelling adventure. It smells just like Pierce in Spain, except it's us cultured. This is the new world, Catalina. Endless things to explore. Now, it may not be the beautiful island of Cuba that you ever so adore, but it is beautiful nonetheless. Now come, we must rest, as I've had a full day of things planned for us. As you wish, my lady. Sit. I know you must be awfully exhausted. I'm grateful for your kindness, my lady, but I mustn't rest until I unpack your things. Nonsense. I'll do it myself. Consider this a vacation of sorts. You'll enjoy it just as I. You're too kind. I'll cherish this trip for the rest of my days. You deserve it. Now go freshen up. 
We've had a long journey. I've bought you new dresses as well. I had them sent ahead. They're hanging in your rooms already. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, no, please do stand up. I... No saint nor queen. I am no better than you. I would wish that you never do that again. Have respect for yourself. Bend your knee to no man nor woman other than the god you worship and your sovereign. Now, go and do as I have said. Freshen up and get ready. Yes, my lady. Hmm. I'm sensing that you're up to something. And I'm sensing that you're simply drunk. Oh, hardly, my dear. I've just begun. Besides, even a drunk man can tell when something strange is happening around here. I haven't the slightest clue as to what you're talking about. You're giving a poor servant girl new dresses and telling her to use this time of vacation of sorts? Yes, and I see nothing wrong with that. And neither should you. There is nothing wrong with helping the less fortunate. <sighs> Believe me. I know. I was the less fortunate. Besides, isn't her time near? You've seen her death, and you know it's quickly approaching? Shush. Be mindful of your value. Pierre, you are my oldest friend, in this life and the last. Although you may not remember, you see me suffer my curse many times over. It eases my soul to make someone else's life slightly better, and in this life, I'm the position to do so. So if in her final days I can make her feel joy, then so be it. Then I'll help ex spare no expense. Especially not on the wine. <laughs> spare no expense? <laughs> you want her to live her last days lavishly, correct? Yes, but I'm laughing because you speak as if it's your money to spend. Well, we are to inflame as my love. What's mine is yours. <laughs> I pray for the poor soul that has to marry you someday. <laughs> As long as you're alive and wealthy, I shall never have to marry. I mean, I'd marry you if I were not afraid that you'd smother me in my sleep and run off to Paris with your lover, John. I'll find some other noble's wealthy woman to marry and share my troubles with. And once the dowry is paid and the honeymoon is over, I'll just poison her wine. <laughs> okay, so it's my wine I should be worried about. Amongst other things... Like your jewelry, dresses, water. I can be very creative. But, Valerie? Yes? What if her fate changes? It happens, does it not? It does, and if her fate changes and she lives longer than I thought, then that's fine. It still would have brought joy to my face to see her happy. Now, I must go and prepare myself, so if you'd excuse me. My dearest Valerie... What a soul you have, the noblest of the women, the most Catalina, where are you? Uh, Catalina? Dios is Telorega, escuchame babalue, escuchame rezo por fuerza. Helena, what are you doing? My apologies for taking so long. I was saying my prayers. I'm aware that you were praying, but it was to no Christian God. I am not sure what you're suggesting. Now, yes, pray, pray, mon ami. Have no fear, my friend. I can worry no less what God you pray to. Your secret's safe with me. I only wish to warn you. There are people in this household, other servants, that would wish to see your downfall. I see no ambitions in the other servants. They understand that we are all the bottom in the eyes of the rich. Rich or poor, they are not your friends. This misguided world has led them to believe that they are better than you because of your skin. Do you think me to be your equal? Me? A slave girl from Cuba? <laughs> you are no longer a slave girl. I had your freedom papers drawn up before we left. I haven't signed them yet because America isn't exactly the best place for you to be without me by your side. Do you mean it? I do, which is why I'm warning you. Please be careful where you practice, for there are listening ears, praying eyes, and hateful souls. They're jealous because you have a higher position than them, and they think that they deserve it more because of the Fairness to your complexion. 
Do you know why I chose you, Catalina? No, I don't. I always thought it was luck or that my prayers had been answered. Perhaps the gods did send me to you, but I chose you because you are kind and loving. You don't speak badly of me behind my back or of Pierre. I value character above all else. Why would I speak badly of Pierre? I'm rather fond of him, actually. Pierre is quite the charmer of women. And men? Pardon me? Nothing. Uh, forget I've said a thing. It brings me great pleasure that you see Pierre as no more than himself. Uh, that is why I chose you. Then can I tell you? Tell you of my beliefs? You may, and I will listen with an open heart. <sighs> Where I'm from, we practice Santeria. I do worship the same God as you, but along with others. We call them Osiris. They're from the land from which we were stolen. Oh, you worship the African gods? Yes, and I'm sure you think I'm foolish for it, but really? I... No, I don't think that. And may you never forget from whence you came. Now, you can finish telling me later. I don't believe that. This is the place. The carriage is outside, my lady Catalina. If you would be so kind as to accompany me through the streets. Gladly. Charmer of the ladies and servants alike. I looked at her and I had never seen a purer soul. She glowed. Her skin reflected like gold. And in that moment, the end that I visioned for her disappeared. Fate seemed to change her mind. Do you see how she toys with me with my sight? But I can't blame her completely this time because it was my own selfishness at fault. <laughs> I pray you enjoyed your day. I'm sorry I couldn't have done more. More? What more could I have possibly wanted? You've given me everything I could ever dream of in a day. You allowed me to live in your life for just a moment, and that was more than enough. I am eternally grateful. You are a saint, my lady. And you too, Pierre. I thank you for at least pretending to care for me to make me happy. I do care for you, Catalina. Perhaps not in any romantic way, but as a dear friend. Besides, who else can get the wine stains out of my shirt? You think too highly of me, truly. <laughs> and then I proved it, that I was no saint, but cursed by fate to forever be evil. I'll get it, I suppose, since I'm the only man of this house. I don't know, Pierre. I think I have more pants than you. The ones your lovers wear don't count as yours, my dear. <laughs> Is there something I can assist you with? I'd like to speak to the mistress of this house. If you would be so kind to as to explain your business, I'd be happy to retrieve her. Move out the way. What's the meaning of this? What's going on? There's a witch in this house, a heretic that's turned against God, and we won't allow this in our community. I will kindly ask you to leave my property before I have you forcibly removed. There is no witch in this house. We are a good Christian household, and I'm a good Catholic woman. I will not entertain this talk of witches. Grab the slave girl. I'm sure she'll talk. Unhand her this moment. She is no slave. She is a respected lady of this household and will be treated as such. Maybe in France, but in America, she's no more than a slave. And so our Christians will let her go. Now, where's the witch? We are French citizens and therefore are not bound to ridiculous laws and jurisdiction. I don't have to answer to anyone but God and my king. And may I remind you that I am a lady, one with friends in very high places. I assure you that your English king doesn't want a war with France. You expect me to believe that a low noble lady like yourself could cause a war? Do not detest my power and do not tempt my fury. 
Search the house. The king will thank me for burning you. Which are papists, your disgrace to God. Lord have mercy. Unhand her! Quiet! Or I'll have you arrested for sodomy. Sodomy? You have no such push of such things. Your lover John has already sent you down the river. We've already disposed of him. John. No. 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 I think we found something. And what might we have here? The propellinelli of a witch. Now is it yours? No. It's not mine. I swore before God. Then whose is it? It's hers. It's Catalina's. She's a Santeria. She worships the African gods. Valerie, how could you? I knew she'd talk eventually. All of that pain just to save a slave. No, no, let me go. It's not what you think. You don't understand. Valerie, help me. Explain to them what it is. Valerie. What are you doing? Are you going to do nothing at all? You get to live forever, Valerie, over and over again. And as your dearest Frey, as your dearest friend, when I'm reborn again, as you say, I will never know again about my love for John. I will never remember. Then you are lucky. I hope this is your last life. I'll be burned in the flames of hell after this. They will burn her, you know. You had nothing to fear. You knew you'd come back. How can you preach to her about how you see her as an equal and then do this? And you sit with her with ease as if nothing has happened. And do you think it was easy? Do you think I'll be able to happily live with myself after this? Death never gets easy. No matter how many times I live through it and suffer it, it never becomes easy. For a moment, I believe that fate decided I was free. I spent a fortune today to make Helena's last days joyful. But as we were leaving this morning, my visions changed. I didn't see her death anymore. And I was relieved, but I know now why I couldn't see it. Because this was unplanned, erupt witch nonsense. Everyone I have ever loved has died. And I live on in another life. Death is something I've grown cold to. I'm sorry for your loss, Pierre. I know John meant a lot to you. Save it. I don't need your condolences. Just let me grieve alone. Pierre? What? John told them to come here, putting you in danger. Yet, you still mourn him. What works in the most mysterious of ways, right? Will you ever forgive me? Perhaps in another life, I suppose, since I'm cursed to always be by your side. Do you think she will, Catalina? No. I signed her freedom papers. I wanted to wait until we got back to France, but I don't think that's gonna happen now. It could happen. You could stop the trial, but I know you won't. At least you'll die free. Valerie. What? What's wrong? You cool? You was on out over there. What? Yeah, I'm good. I was just thinking about something. What? That's in there, you know? Wow, you're in my business? Don't do that. Come on, Joe. The bill's about to ring. Honestly, you're the annoying one at this point. Do you two ever stop arguing? Only when Anthony's being a jerk. 
You see, I'm over here trying to make peace, and she's still doing the most. So the answer is no. <laughs> Y'all my favorite people, but my brother went on. What's up, fam? Why are you looking like you just saw a ghost? I felt like I just did. Dang. For, for real? Chill, do what I mean literally. Oh, then what's up? Man, it's this girl. Oh, you talking about that one shirt you saw you with? Yeah, her name is Valerie. For real? I thought her name was like a Vanessa. Plus, she seemed more like a Yvette, maybe an Angelica Jasmine. Francis. Something. What? Focus. Oh, <laughs> my bad. So why is she on your head? Your mind so heavy? I keep having these visions. She's crying. And in my heart, I know it's because of me. Okay. And you make girls cry all the time. Ain't that the new player? No, nah, there's something off about this one. Oh, no. Sounds kind of psyche. Then you need to talk to Abelo about it. All he's going to tell me to do is burn some sage and light some candles. <laughs> all I'm going to tell you to do is tell Shirley to kick rocks. So I think you need to talk to Abelo. I think as I was afraid of his answer. I was terrified of what my visions meant. My grandfather was a synth He knew things deeper than what the eyes can see. I didn't want to see where he was guiding me, but I knew it would be away from Bella. Mijo, is that you? Oh my God, it's been a long time since I last seen you. I know, and I'm sorry you bring her. Don't be sorry, Mijo. You're here now. Just, I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> now, here, come sit next to me. I need your help. Well, of course you do. Why else would you bother to come see your little old abuelo? That's not true, abuelo. You know I love you. <sighs> I know you do. I'm just saying it wouldn't hurt you to come see me more often. And what seems to be troubling you? I'm the only one like you. I'm the only one that has this, like, and you're blessed me, huh? So why does it trouble you so? Because I didn't believe in love at first sight. Then yesterday I met a girl and the world stopped. I looked her in her eyes and I saw our future together. And I saw how it ended. She was crying. Not a pretty cry with a single tear going on her cheek. But she was pulling my lower knees in pain. And I know it was because of me. I just met her yesterday. But I'm in love with her. But I don't understand. If I'm so in love with her, why is my vision showing me hurting her? It's puppy love. You kids get so caught up with the first girl you meet and think it's love. Especially you, Francis. Abuelo? Yes, Mijo? You do know I'm not Francis, right? I'm Anthony. What? Oh, yeah. I, I knew that. You've always been my favorite. You know I have so many grandchildren, so many names. It's hard to keep up. Oh, well, you help me. I think you'll be able to see more clear than I can. My mind is too cloudy. Your feelings can be manipulated by the visions. No, your visions can be manipulated by your feelings. Your feelings can hurt, but surely send your visions astray. Here, just give me your hand. Show me what you saw. Stay away from her. What? This girl, her name is Valerie. <laughs> but how did she know? Listen to me. She means no good. Brother, what did you see? She can see the future. And I know she's seen the same I know she's seen the same future that you have. She said something? No. Something else. Anthony, this this girl's evil. <laughs> You can't be serious. She's a little annoying, but she's not evil. She's as sweet as gold. It's your fate now. I'll, I'll let you decide, but you have been warned. Thank you, Braylo. I'm going to go. Oh my 
Yeah. 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 We're not even together yet. I am the side dude for all I know. Mm, don't tell him that you're with me. Why not? He knows you play for the other team. Yeah, but if he wants to meet up, he's not going to ask if you tell him that you're with a friend. Okay, I'm going to be like, nothing much chilling. What about you? Ew, no. I don't want him to think you're a dry texter. <laughs> she still have a text back Told you to focus on yourself, bro. <laughs> yeah, I thought you said she liked me. I mean, that's the vibes I was getting. Vibes. You can't be sending risky texts over vibes. <laughs> All you did was ask what she's doing, bro. I wouldn't call that risky. I'm just going to send it. Whatever. <laughs> she texts back. What'd she say? She said nothing. Chilling. What about you? See, she took that long to say that. What do I say back? Tell her... You hang with some females, so she don't, so you don't look like no lame. Dude, shut up! Don't tell her that. Tell what? her that you're hanging with your homies and that you're thinking about her. Man, you making him sound soft. Yeah, but you're making him sound like he doesn't care. But I do care. I'm gonna go with what you said, bro. Oh, he said he's with his friends and he's thinking about me. Wait, does that mean he likes me too? Yeah. After all these years, you don't know how boys work. <gasps> oh my God, he likes me. He likes me. He likes me. Wait. What the hell do I do now? First, you gotta text him back before he thinks you're too, like busy texting another dude. Okay. What sensitive, insecure, fragile, ego person would even think that? You say all of that just for her to be texting some other side dudes. To be honest, I'm thinking about you too, LOL. What if he's playing you though? Please take that negativity elsewhere. All right, I got it from there. Move around. For real, I didn't think I made that kind of expression on you. It's something about you. You're familiar. I've been telling myself the same thing about you. Oh, word. So is this you shooting your shot? If you want it to be. Does that mean you like me? I mean, you're beautiful, smart, but most of all, I think your wife is a dick man. You don't seem like the kind of person to spill their feelings out like this. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just I can't believe you like me, you know? I feel you. So, how you feel about me? Um, can I call you? It's kind of a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Hello? Hey. You know it's funny, because I can use my through the phone. <laughs> Is that obvious, huh? Yeah, but it's cool though, Shorty. You make me feel like it's an earthquake. The ground is shaking, but you're the only thing that can keep me sound. And when I'm around you, I get butterflies. Oh, for real. I get really happy when I hear your voice. It's kind of my favorite noise. I see. And I see us. You see us? Um, it's a metaphor. Oh. <laughs> and I see us happily. Well, to a point. What? Nothing. All I'm hearing is that you're feeling me. Shut up. You make me feel like you're playing with me. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that at all. Don't think that. I'm feeling too sure. This is me officially shooting my shot. Now, did I make it? Nothing but net. Cool, cool. But um, I don't want to get carried away too quickly, you know? Yeah. No, me either. All right. So friends. For right now? Yeah. Friends. For right now. But um, I'll talk to you later. I'm supposed to go somewhere with my brother in a little bit. Oh. OK, cool. I guess I'll talk to you later. All right, Shirley. Peace. Something's up. He's trying to play you. For real, he acting weird. Glad I wasn't the only one that noticed. Now I can see exactly why I was crying in my vision. Because he ain't shit. And we don't let anybody play with you like that. And that's on what? That's on period. He got the wrong one if he thinks he can act all nonchalant and then just, Oh my god, he texted me! I should have known better. Said he misses me already. Okay, maybe he isn't trying to run game. Maybe he really did have to go somewhere with his brother. Yo, bro. What's good? She said she liked me or whatever. 
That's what's up. You already know how we get down. But I told her, like, I'm trying to be friends right now. What, you scared of something? I was never scared. All right, maybe just a little bit. I don't want to hurt her. Okay, then don't. It's really not that hard. Yeah, bro. It's like, treat her right. Don't do anything you want to want her doing. Text back fast. Oh, and give her food. If you feed us and you give us attention, we'll love you. It's really not that hard. But y'all act like it's rocket science. So like a dog, Liana? And how would you even know? Um, Because I'm a girl, dummy. Okay, for one, Liana, you want hood rat. The girl. That's why he doesn't trust you. Okay. And two, dog, Valerie isn't a dog. She's cute and sweet and about, um, skin is soft. I don't know, bro. Sounds like a dog to me. How do you think he's going to act tomorrow? What do you mean by that? Like, is there going to be some weird vibe or something? I didn't even think about that, but we have to go now because I have some thinking and praying and immortal people stuff to do. You always make me leave. I want to talk to the gods. <gasps> Maybe they'll give me some magical powers too. I remember, my powers aren't a gift, they're a curse. I already know how long you're going to live and it's like a ticking time bomb in my head. And no, I will not tell you because it will ruin the rest of your life. But if you tell me... I can avoid it. All I'm gonna say is, you're here for a good time, not a long time. Now go, shoot. You're messing up the aura in my room with all your confusion and negative energy. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going. Love ya. I love you too. Now bye. My fate, I pray to you. What does this mean? Why is my life bursting at its seams? Why is this boy tempting my future and playing with my visions? Why can't I see how he's living? I want realness. Why won't you answer me? I know you did not call for me. You called for fate, but I'm afraid the goddess Mora is unavailable. I'll accept any help I can get. I am forever humble for you, goddess of karma. It is not often you call upon either of us. What is it that troubles you so? Anthony. A boy? Yes. I'm sure there's more I do not know, so please explain. My vision seems to have no full knowledge of him. I see him, and I see almost nothing. But I'm drawn to him like a magnet with an intense force. There is some knowledge I erased when you were reborn, so it's not to trouble you too much with the memories. That's very kind of you, and... If it's not too much to ask, can you erase one more? I only erase things that were out of your control. Things you've witnessed that even I have had to turn from the site. What is it you wish to forget? A few lifetimes ago, I knew a girl named Catalina. I was responsible for her death. Her screams as she called out my name to help her. It's not one of my proudest moments. This is a memory that I will let you keep. Let it haunt you as it taught you a lesson. Let it be a reminder of the karma you have had to come. I think I've suffered a thousand times over for that one. I'll decide that. But yes, you have paid your debts for that one. There's still many more you have to pay for. But you do not come here for a lecture on your curse, of which I'm sure you're very familiar with already. You wish to seek guidance. Show me what you see when you envision his future. I understand. What is it? What's wrong? I cannot give you the answers you seek. Only more I. But she never answers me. In two millennium, she's only answered once. As you can imagine, she is still very upset with you. I'm tired. Unbelievably tired. Being immortal is not easy. Being half immortal is just as difficult. I have to face the fear of dying just like any other human. Yes, and more I will never lift your curse until you have felt the same pain as she did when her eyes vein was taken from her. If she really loved him, she would have understood him. How dare you question the love a mother has for her son? I question it because no other has loved one another like Asbane and I have. <laughs> Zenobia, you silly child. After so many lifetimes, you still have so much to learn. And you will never learn. 
My fate will not control me. Not in this life. She still believes that pitiful fairy tale that her and my Azvain were meant to be? It would seem so. Humans will never learn to stay in their place. She meddles with business of gods, but can't handle the wrath. She feels noble enough to even lay eyes on my Azvain, but now she finds herself too weak to carry her curse? <laughs> I hate humans. They're lowly, vile, despicable creatures, but Zenovia is the worst of them all. I damn the day I was created. I wove such a beautiful thread for her. My son has lost, interfered, and changed her fate beyond my control. But that curse put me back into power, and I will never lift it. Did you wish for Asvin to suffer as well? Why would you say such an absurd thing? Zenobia showed me her powers, her visions of a human named Anthony. But the problem is, she claims they're unclear. That's why she summoned you, but I answered instead. What does some human boy have to do with Asvin? Zenobia's powers do not allow her to see the future of gods. I believe she cannot see this boy's future because he is a god. He is Asvain reborn, but I'm sure you already know this. It was not my doing. His soul found its own way back into her life, and stop it, I may try. It happens time and time again. He loves this silly human girl undyingly, and I can't stop it. You can lift the curse. No! She must suffer for what she's done. This hatred isn't spewed from the broken heart of a mother, but of a jealous hag. Do you accuse me of being jealous of a human girl? Yes, and is the jealousy so strong that you let your son continue to die for her instead of lifting the curse, and he will die for her. This is the vision that is so unclear to her. It is the same mindless mistake he continues to make, and I will let him. If he wishes to die to become a mortal, then I will let him. You are no real mother, Morai. Please step down from your high horse. As I recall, you played a role in this curse as well. All for your sweet, sweet daughter. It was a mistake. I did everything I could to make my daughter happy. But you use your son's death as an excuse to play out your fits of jealousy and vengeance. Alas, I am a coward. At least you admit it. Yes, but what will Admenigan do to save that poor, sweet human girl that you've grown so fond of? Even goddesses have to face their karma, Morai. And until then, I will rain hell on Zenobia. And when your time comes, I'll be sure to make you suffer the most. We used to be good friends. You and I close ones, might I add. What happened? You lost your son. And with him, your humanity. <laughs> My dear Drestia, you've forgotten that we are not human. I like this. You know, sitting next to you, it is different our emerald between us. He's so close. His skin could burn through mine. I know this feeling. I wish I could travel through time. I wish I could have remembered then he was once mine, once upon a time. That I've known his name longer than I've known mine. Yeah, it feels different. What's wrong? Nothing. I need my hand right, Goofy. Oh, yeah, my bad. You're right-handed. Yeah, and? I'm holding your right hand. Not Anthony. You know how sensitive he can be. I'll be left-handed today if it means not hurting his feelings. I bet she wish he had the same energy for you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Hey, you gonna call me later? Yeah, I would, but I'm gonna be kind of busy. Yeah, let's go eat. I mean, you could just text me that. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty, class, that's a wrap. Maybe you would listen to some gongo when you get home. Come on, Shorty. You're really not good at this just friends thing. I guess not. Maybe it's just you. How is it me in any way, shape, or form? I told you, it's your vibe. It's addicting. Aw, you sweet talk your way into every girl's heart. <laughs> You're the only one so far this year. I'm joking, chill. Nah, I bet you got a lot of girls chasing after you. <sighs> Not really, but either way, you don't want to chase after. Telling me that you only want to be friends isn't really chasing after me. Okay, how about I take you on a date? 
you know, that's more than friends. For real? Yeah, like maybe this weekend. Yeah, for sure. Just let me know. I gotta go this way. I'll talk to you later. So I'm guessing that was Anthony. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's kind of cute. He asked me on a date. What happened to Just Friends? I think me complaining about it made him change his mind because he was holding my hand and he put his arm around me and he says he just wanted to be friends. And then on top of that, I had a vision. Well, it was more like a memory Wait. that I was trying to be part of. <laughs> Hold on, what? When he was holding my hand, it was something about how he said it felt so nice to be next to me and his shoulder was touching mine and then it happened. It was blurry like the other ones, but it felt so familiar. In another life, I knew him. I just don't recognize his soul. Well, how did you know that I was me when you met me? Your personality never changes from life to life. I could pick your soul out of a thousand other ones every single time. You're always you. No matter your name, no matter the color of your skin. And that's why you're my best friend. So, you're telling me that if I die and came back as a rich old lesbian, you would know it was still me. So far, I found you in every life without fail. If you remember me so easily, then why can't you remember when you met Anthony? Because of all this hell that this curse has brought, you were my one gift. Shut up, don't make me cry. Oh, shush. You never text me. My bad, I got busy. I'm gonna meet you, pretend or something. No, you cool, don't worry about it. What's that behind your back? Here, they're for you. <laughs> oh my god, you did it. I did it for you, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah but I, I gotta go. Come on, Val, we're gonna be late. What's up, bro? What's good? I feel like my heart is literally melting right now. You've been a queen before, right? Yeah, and? Then why are you getting so excited over some Walgreens flowers? Because it's the thought that counts. If my husband, the king, had bought me flowers, I'd be unimpressed because he had the money to buy me castles. Anthony ain't a king, and he sure as hell don't got that kind of money. So, him buying me flowers is special. And, and you, I've never gotten flowers in this. And you obviously didn't realize what he just did, did you? What do you mean? The little side push away he did when his friend was coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, play Bozo the Clown if you want to. Boy, shut up. My intuition is never wrong. I'm the magical being, and you're the sidekick. If I had a dollar for every single time I've saved you in the past two lifetimes, I'd be rich. You can't blame me for stuff that I don't have a memory of doing. I, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying I don't need you to look out for me. I can see the future, remember? Yeah, but you can't see Anthony's. So you're really just going into this blindly and you're just going to get hurt. And you know it. We're here for a good time, not a long time, remember? Okay, then do whatever you want to do. But when your vision becomes clear and you realize that he didn't want anything more than to hurt you, don't come crying to me. Calm down. You're getting all frustrated over what? This isn't life or, life or death. This is high school. If he's not serious, then whatever. Who cares? And what if I remember him and he's just some random guy I met in Paris? Like on vacation or something. The unknown has endless possibilities and I'm not afraid of any of them. Must be easy not to fear the outcome of anything. Someday, in one life, you will finally learn that none of this was easy. Hey Val, you know we have that assembly seventh hour, right? Oh, for real? I didn't even know. You want to sit with me and Jayla? You're not gonna sit with Anthony? Nah, I let him do his own thing with his brother. I would sit with you guys, but I'm gonna go sit with my lolly walking. All right. Well, I'll see you later. That was weird, who was that? That's Emerald, she's in class with me and Anthony. We're like the three musketeers in there. I think she's weird.
Oh my God, here you go with your bad vibes again. I'm just saying. Look, there goes Anthony with his brother and sister. You say hey. What? No, I don't want to bother him. Let's just keep walking. Do you even know what this assembly is supposed to be about? Mm, nope, and I really don't care. You will move around, Shorty. Is he talking to me? Hey, I'm talking to you. Get from around me. You bugging. Hey, we were just walking. Calm down. No one's bugging you. You see, I got them addicted to me. They can't say where. What the heck are you doing? I ain't doing nothing. Shorty bugging. You know she just so happened to be walking by us? She didn't even say anything to you. Here you go showing your butt off again. Okay, bet then, since I'm bugging. What am I doing? Just like that room did. He ain't seem like her. Just the wound scratched the surface. I think I better say my apologies. I hope you know you're an idiot. I told you. Shut up. I mean, I'm just saying that you should have. Shut looked. up. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go home. Why? Don't let him ruin your day like that. I need to talk to the gods. With negative energy like that? I'll take a nap and do it. Do whatever you have to do then. My fate, I pray to you. And yes, I am angry. I'm disturbed and eager to cut me from the string from which you have me hanging. Who is he? Why can't I see his future? You won't give me the answers I wish for. Why I gotta suffer like this? I hear you. But you are not fate. I'm aware. Where is she? When I come down here, you coward, you cursed me for 2,000 years, and now you have no words? Be careful with yours, I warn you. Why does she never appear? You would think that after all this time. Time runs differently for gods. You have felt every second of this millennium, but for her, her wounds are still fresh. Try to understand her. Does she try to understand me? How my heart has ached for Asvane just as it has for her? Do not let her spoil your good soul. I have spoken with her, but I must say, she's unwilling to forgive you. Why can't you help me? It is beyond my control. Gods have things beyond their control. In this particular situation, yes. I cannot lift a curse that I did not bestow. I have forgiven you. It is fate that has not. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for being the person that you are. No human is without flaw, but compared to others, you are divine. Then will you bless me? I believe the curse I've given you has turned into a blessing. You depend on it, so much that it worries you when it doesn't work. This is why you're so troubled you can't see the future of this boy. Hello? Hey, you miss me. What do you want? Just a minute to apologize. I don't think this is something you can just apologize for. I know I was bogus. I, I don't know what happened then. It seems like you don't want to be around me. I think that's what happened. I promise that it's not like that at all. Then what is it? It's a long story and you won't believe me. Try me. I'm a Synthel and I can see the future. What? Come on, you gotta think of a better excuse than that. And what does that have to do with anything? I'm scared because I saw a vision Why I hurt you. So you decided to what? Just get it out of the way or something? No, that's not it at all. I'm afraid to love you. Okay, then I'll make it easy for you. <laughs> Valerie, wait. She 
she didn't believe me. I just told her my life's biggest secret, pour it on my heart, declare my biggest fear, and she hangs up the phone in my ear. See, I told you, you can't be out here vulnerable like that. Francis, please shut up. That's just not something you believe right away. I mean, how many people just have psychic powers? How many know me and Abrelo? Exactly, and even though you telling her was a brave move, it still doesn't explain why you're being a butthole earlier. True. I thought I'd get hit though, because I couldn't even stop myself from the words falling out. It didn't feel like me. <laughs> so what you're trying to say? Somebody possessed you? <laughs> I don't even know. But I do know I'm sorry for what I said, because I didn't mean it. That's a grave you dug on your own, my boy. We can't fix it for you. He's like in the How do I look? I'm like a vending machine because all I see is a snack. Everything is so much easier. You like the boy, you went to the park, and boom, you're married. Would you rather have date anxiety or set back women's rights a hundred years? Okay, you're right, but still. Okay, I'll look. <laughs> the same way you look every day? I hate her. Shut up. You look nice. Did you put cologne on? Girls like it when you smell good. Yeah, I'm putting some Max on before I get there. No. Just no. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm just so glad we're here to help you because I can't even let you go out like that, fam. <laughs> What's wrong with X? Everything. It smells bad, okay? It makes girls choke and it's so, so bad for the environment. Everything she just said, minus all the environment shit. Here, put this on. It's for Sachi for men. Where do you think it's going to take you? To a trap house on the south side with his homies. I know you're joking, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he did. <laughs> nah, he ain't even like that. Okay, now turn around for me. Yes, you look so beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. The last time you said that to me, you were putting the veil on my head. It's crazy to think that all these lives we spent together and I don't even remember anything. I got some witches that can help you with that someday. We had so many memories together, good and bad. I don't know what I'd do without you, Jay. Do you have a favorite lifetime with me? Uh, I do, but it's a story for another time. I gotta go. Anthony's supposed to be here at 6. Oh, okay. Love you. Love you more. This is him calling right now. I'll talk to you later. Hello? Hey, yeah, I'm outside. All right, I'm coming. You've been on a million of these before. Damn. What? What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. It's, it, it's just you look fine as so, Shuri. <laughs> oh my god, stop. But you look good too. I got you some more flowers. Don't throw these at me, okay? Don't give me a reason to. I won't, I promise. You ready? Yeah. So where are we going? To the movies, then we're gonna get something to eat, and then we're gonna sit in my car and listen to some music. Did Leanna help you think of all that? What? No, I ain't got off Instagram. <laughs> it's cool. It's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> exactly. I come on the movie starts at 7 30, but I wanna play an arcade before I go in. <laughs> Bro, with the part when he. <laughs> Come on, get it out. I just, I had fun. I did too. So, was this enough for you to be my girl? More than enough. I was willing before the day. I just want to see how far you go. Well, now you know it's far. I would have done anything. Anything? You know what I mean. 
But no, really, it means a lot that you went so far to make it up to me. I had to. I didn't. I don't know what when I met you. I had to have you. It sounds a little possessive. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I mean it for to come up like that. <laughs> I'm joking. I know what you mean. I felt the same way. I saw our future. I did too. Were we happy? In yours, I can't you tell me. <laughs> Mine's a little fuzzy. It's only like that with you though. I can't clearly see your future. Maybe it's better that way. It gives room for more surprises. You seem to like those. You never answer my question. What? If you can see our future, then tell me if we're happy. Oh, so now you believe me. Maybe. We're happy for the most part. Every time I'm near you, my vision repeats and, 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 and I see you crying. How do you know it's because of you? It's a, it's a gut feeling. No, no, no. Do what? Don't make me cry. That's the plan. <laughs> can you transfer your vision? Like, can you make other people see what you see? Yeah, but I think only works for people like me, like us, people with the sight. Then show me, and I'll show you everything, then we can decide what it means. What do you mean by everything? Everything from the beginning, who I've loved, what I lost, my curse, everything. Okay, I'll show you. How does it work for you? Do you like hold hands or like... Kiss me. What? That's how it works for me. We have to kiss. Wait, <laughs> I'm not ready. Let me just... Asbane, hurry up. You're going to miss it. <sighs> I'm running as fast as I can, my love. Look, here it is. Isn't it beautiful? A flower? A flower? You made me run all this way for just a flower? Well, it only blooms once here. We had to see it now. <sighs> Whatever it takes to see that beautiful smile on your face. Whatever did I do? I don't know what you mean, my love deserve you. Uh, only being the fairest woman I've ever laid eyes on. You live in the heavens. I'm sure you've seen many women fairer than me. Cross my heart and hope to die. I have never laid eyes on anyone as fair as my Zenobia. And what of Irene? What of her? Your mothers want you two to be wed. Uh, my mother wants many things that she cannot have. And I will add my wedding to Irene onto that list. Would you really defy the gods for me? I would defy Zeus himself if he tried to keep you from me. You're destined to be together, you and I. Then nothing shall ever keep us apart.
as Vane, Vane. our rain is searching for you. And she's turning all the wine back into water. She said, there'll be no celebrations till you are returned to her. And it won't be lonely for her mother looks down and finds you with Zenobia. She's looking for him, you say? Yes, as he makes it a tradition to be everywhere that she's not. I try love with all my might, but she is relentless. Maybe I should talk with her and perhaps make her come to her senses. It's a shame that she has to chase after a man that wants nothing to do with her. Don't say a word to her. She'll tell her mother and then you'll have enough bad karma to last a lifetime. It's not fair that she thinks she can do whatever she wants just because her mother's addressed to you. She's not even a well-worshipped god. Nor is Asmin. That makes him no less powerful. My love, you flatter me. But I'm not even a tenth as powerful as Drestia. Her power matches my mother's, and she's the only person in the heavens and the earth that scares me. Well, I heard that she's not even a good lover. And where did you hear that? Uh, I might have shared a bed with the man that also shared hers. You've shared many beds with many men. Yes, and I plan on sharing me with you. I have no opinions on what a lady does in her bed, as it's not mine. You must go, as Vane, before our ring loses control again. Until we meet again, my love. I shall die every minute. The two of you make me wish I didn't have ears, so as not to hear the things you say to one another. One day when you fall in love, you will understand. I can bear to fall in love, no, I'll never be as great as you and as Vane. You will find your own love one day, and it will be enough to move the heavens. You're the most beautiful woman I know, and all of Garia agrees. <laughs> Says the one who has caught the heart of a god. You have as well. Can't you snub him? He will bed every man in the land, but won't give a kiss of gratitude to the god of gods himself. I am playing the long game. Besides, do you really think that you and Asmine will be able to stop his marriage to Irene? No, but we have a plan. And do you plan to defy the gods? Because if their mother will, then it will happen. Yes, because the gods will not defy their king. I will pretend that you have not said a word. Peony, please, you are my dearest friend. If you love me, please do it for me. What? What is it? I must know what I'm getting myself into first. Me and Asbane will pretend we have separated until the wedding day. While Irene is getting ready, Asbane, we're off enjoying me. What does that have to do with Zeus and I? You must convince Zeus to forbid Mariah and Adrestia from coming after us. Do you think that I'm magic? That I can just charm the most powerful men in the heavens to just listen to me? Make it a compromise. If he stops Mariah and Adrestia, then you'll be with him. You are promising me to a man that I don't want, and it sounds like you're no better than Mariah. You know he'll not keep you for long. So, I'm to be the abandoned lover of Zeus, carry one of his demigods, just so you can run off with the love of your life? What about the love of my life? What about me ever finding happiness? There is no way to tell a god no, Zenobia. And thus far, I've been fortunate enough to escape Zeus's wrath. If I agree, I will never be free of him. What if that doesn't happen? What if he allows you to walk away when you wish? It all would have been worth it to see me and Asbane together happily. You are selfish beyond belief. You will risk everyone and everything around you for the sake of your love. I will not help you. This fantasy that you have of you and Asbane running off together and leaving Irene crying at the altar, it's childish, okay? They will get married if their mothers will and you will not live happily ever after. You know what? You're bitter and jealous. Goodbye, Zenobia. I bid you well, but I will not risk my life for you. Fine. I will help myself. Me and Aspen will live a long, happy life. And I will remember that in this moment, you have abandoned me. Remember it well. Because there will come a day where you realize in this moment, you have betrayed me. And it will be too late. Zenobia, I wish to speak with you for a moment. Irene. It is I. What is it that you wish to speak with me about? I'm sure you already know. Asbane? Yes. 
And I ask you, do you love him? And I'm sure you already know the answer. Then I advise you stay away from him. God shouldn't get involved with humans. Not even humans as close to the heavens as you. If you truly loved him, you would allow him to be happy. No. No? He will be with me whether he is happy or not. You are truly pathetic. It doesn't matter. I am a god. And I am a human of Garion blood, closer to the heavens than any other. So close, I can touch it. And I will. I warn you not to touch things too pure for your blood. It will burn. Do you have any reason for despising me other than me being a human? The man I love is in love with you. And if he wasn't? Then I suppose the two of us could have been very good friends. Stay away from Asvain or you will pay for it. And he will still never love you. Perhaps not, but at least you will suffer. Is she gone? I believe so. Okay, good. I don't want to wait until the day until the wedding. I want to run away now. I know somewhere we can hide. As being slow down, what are you talking about? I don't want to wait until the day of the wedding to try to pull this off. I'm, I want to run now, while they least expect it. There's an island called Cyprus, and Aphrodite will protect us there. Why do you think she'll protect us? She kind of owes me a favor, and now's about time I ask for one in return. Do you mean it? Will we really go? I could never risk being away from you. Wait, before we go, I have to find Peony and apologize for something. We'll leave tomorrow. And I have all the time that I need. <laughs> you amuse me truly. I'm glad to make such a lovely lady smile. <laughs> well, I smile even bigger if we'll that's point. Then please, without further ado, take my money. <laughs> Oh, boys, don't give in so easily. I do enjoy a good fight. Um, excuse me, sir, if I could borrow my dear friend for a moment. What, Zenobia? I'm sorry. No, you're not. You said exactly what you meant, and if I had it, if I had agreed, you would have never stopped me. You're right. I wouldn't have stopped you. But I do realize now how selfish it was of me. All of what? 30 minutes later? I not only came here to apologize, but to inform you that I will be leaving tomorrow. Oh, so you found some other fool to carry out your plan. No. Asbane has made one of his own. And I pray it is more conceivable than yours and that no one else is put at risk. I understand that you are upset, but I will not sit here and allow you to insult me. Now, I am saying my goodbyes. You're my dearest friend, Peony. I will miss you. And I you. Write me letters. Tell me of your, your adventures and of your sorrows, if need be. Sore hide, my dove. I will, I promise. I believe you have someone waiting for your entertainment. <laughs> As there will always be. <laughs> I'm coming, gentlemen. Sit down. My fate is steadily approaching. This is where you'll see it. Why I am cursed for ever roam this earth. I couldn't sense it coming so young and naive. In love with the idea of running. I played with the gods. I danced with them. I sang with them. I was a Garion, closest to the heavens than any other. I was no god. I touched things too pure for my blood. I didn't want to touch the heavens. I just wanted to ask me. That was enough. Are you ready, my love? Have you made sure that Irene won't come looking for you? I bought a charm from a nymph. It'll make Irene sleep for a week. More than enough time for us to be far, far away from here. 
How far is Cyprus? About a month's travel by sea, but we'll have help. Triton will guide us. But is Irene not his sister? Why would he betray her? He's also not very fond of her passive aggressiveness. And what of your mother? That's the one problem I have yet to leave, solve, which is why we must leave now. I never thought I'd get a moment like this. My love, they'll remember us for this. And I swear with every kiss, I will only love you more. For you, I moved the shores. But there's so much more. And I could never have enough. And what would you do for my daughter? Adrestia? Zenobia, nice to see you again. Please just let us pass. Why should I, when you have hurt my daughter many, many times? I do not love her, and this she knows, but you and my mother push us together endlessly. Your mother is the goddess of fate. She knows what is meant to be. I am meant to be with Zenovia. She just won't allow it. Because she is human. She is so much more than human, and even if she were not, I'd still love her the same. Do you wish for your daughter to be in a loveless marriage? Do not speak of my daughter. No, mother, it's fine. Really. What are you doing here, Irene? That little sleepy spell you placed on me didn't work as well as you hoped. Just go away. I don't love you and I never will. Just let me be happy. Damn you, Zenobia! No! Aspen! What is happening down here? My son! Zenobia. Shh. Please, save your breath. I love you, and I'll love you forever. You! This is your fault, you silly human girl. You've cost me my son, and I will cost you everything. Irene has already done so. It was she that struck as me. He was my everything. He would have never been in this predicament had it not been for you. So you wish to live with the gods? You will bear our burden. I, Mirai, goddess of fate, curse thee. Each time you die, you'll be re reincarnated with the same memories of pain and agony. You'll never know the sweet release of death. You will wallow in eternity knowing you cost me the loss of my son. Please, no, please don't. And for the pain you have caused my daughter, I, Adrestia, goddess of karma, curse thee with never-ending sight. You will see the end of everyone you love. You will cower in fear with the knowledge of their deaths. Your curse will follow you through every lifetime. And I will forever control your fate. Please, no, it wasn't my fault. Please forgive me. You Garians have become out of control. A drop of your blood may have fell from the heavens, but you are nothing more than a mutt. And I warned you not to touch things too pure for your blood.
I... You were telling the truth. What are you? I'm Garion. We're more than humans, less than gods. The gods, the Greek ones, they're real? All gods are, whatever ones you believe in. <laughs> Her vision, I've seen it. I never wanted to believe it. My brother wasn't crazy. He wanted to save me. But with that kiss, I sealed my fate. I got so many questions, I just- Save them. I'll answer them another time. Did you see my vision? Of me crying? Yeah, and it's honestly a lot. I know, I go through it every day. Does it bother you? It does, but I just deal with it and hope it doesn't come true. Do all of your visions come to pass? No, but most of them do. Okay, so what are the chances that this one will? I'll say for every 10 visions I have, two of them don't come true. So two out of 10, those are our chances. <sighs> will you forgive me? For what? For me. Eh, it depends on what you do. I, I gotta go. Yeah, it's, it's getting late. I enjoy myself though. Maybe we'll go another day someday. You say that like you're afraid it won't happen. I'll see you later. Address to you. If you're listening, thank you. I wonder how much good I had to do to have a night like this. <sighs> She's like me. She has sight. She's a centella? No, but it's a long story and a lot to explain. She showed me everything. It's like she was a missing piece of my puzzle. She's what I need to see my entire vision. I know why she was crying. Whoa, what do you mean she showed you? What did you see? Her life, her past, her present, the future. Precious, the vision I had of her crying is because I died. What? what? Come on, bro, don't talk like that. I ain't talking like nothing. I'm really was right. I don't want anything to do with her. She's going to be the reason I died. I care about her, I really do. I'm not going to die for her. If she's crying for you, how do you know she's going to be the reason? Exactly. These visions didn't start until I met her. She's the only person that made me envision my death. I, I don't want that. I'm too young. Brillo says she made me no good, and I believe him. She's not even human. She's some ancient race with the blood of a god. Hold up. Did you just say she's not human? The blood of a god? You can't drop that kind of effort and then just keep it pushing. I don't care. It doesn't even matter. I'm done with it. And don't talk to her and keep her far away from me as possible. And don't tell Abuela. Did you at least tell her? I can't. I, I think it's better this way. <laughs> Bro, that's not even something you could tell somebody. Like, oh, uh, we can't talk no more because I keep having visions of you causing my death. Yeah, but girls do appreciate the truth. I, I still don't want to hurt her. I know it's not her. It's the curse. What curse? Curse. <laughs> Dang, shorty cursed and everything. Oh gosh. I don't want to feel like explaining it. I'm going to bed. Had enough mention not four hours to last me my entire life. Man, this is crazy. I know, I know. I feel so sorry for her. She definitely got a lot going on in her life. Her? We don't care about Shardy. I'm talking about Anthony. Our bro is going through it right now. I mean, he thought he found the love of his life. They had a magical night just for him to find out that she's a magical being who's going to lead him to his death. That sounds like a movie. You're right. <laughs> it should be. We'll call it The Misfortune of Anthony Cortez. <laughs> How about Santera, the story of Anthony Cortez? Can y'all think of one idea is that don't evolve expose me to the world? No, nah, bro. That'd be too hard. No, go rest up. We got school. I'm telling you, it was perfect. Well, I'm still not going to believe that he came up 
date idea himself. Okay, well, he could have seen it on Instagram or something. Well, I thought Leanna probably came up with it. That's what I thought too, but I guess Anthony can be romantic on his own. You enjoyed yourself and you deserved it. Wait, there's Anthony. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Anthony. 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 Didn't you hear me? What's wrong? Nothing. I have my little day now. It's over. It's wrong, Shorty. Oh, so you're doing this again. Don't apologize next time. Have a little respect for yourself. Man, what up? I can't believe you. Believe it and stay away from me. I'm sorry. No, okay. Are, are you sure? I mean, you just told him your whole life story and he doesn't even want anything to do with you. Mm, it happens. How are you so numb to this? You want to know how many lives we've lived? How many? 157. <laughs> so we've been 157 different people. No, we've been us 157 different times. But what I mean is we'll go on to live 158 and then 159. And by then I'll forget about him. Don't stress now over things you'll forget later. I don't remember anything in my next life, will I? Not a single thing. Then it's gonna be lit. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you should make this life difficult. Make each lifetime as enjoyable as possible. So you're really not hurt? Nope, not at all. Okay, well, tonight we're going to eat ice cream and watch movies. Jay, please stop. I don't need all that. Honey, I just wanted an excuse to eat ice cream. <laughs> okay, then we'll eat ice cream and watch movies. Oh my god. Who's that? Who? <gasps> Irene. You know her? Is she new or something? I'm gonna go say hey. No, don't. What? That's the daughter of the goddess of karma. She's the one who killed Asbane. She's the reason I'm cursed. She's still alive after all this time? <laughs> She's immortal. She's stunning. Don't fall for it. It's a trick. A what trick? She's a siren, daughter of Poseidon and Adrestia. She's powerful, heartless, and very passive aggressive. Don't look at her for too long. She might charm you. Don't worry, she's not my type. <laughs> you say that now, but her magic has charmed harder victims, all except for my Asbane. Oh, my. oh, that's... Is that why she wanted him? Because he was the only one unimpressed. Asbane's love for me was too strong. Her magic didn't work. Huh. Is she some magical guide? What is she doing in Indiana? She's come to ruin my life again. What are you going to say to her? What? Nothing. I'm going to avoid her like the plague. Hmm. I don't think that's going to work. She's coming over here right now. Walk away. What? Well, boy, let's go. Zenobia, is that you? Or should I call you Valerie? Since I hear that's what you're going by these days. You know it's me, Irene, so why bother asking? To see the look of pain on your face. Still living through that curse, I see. So, Irene, tell me, are you still chasing after men who don't want you? Still upset about Asvane? It's been, what, two millenniums? Just like you're still bitter about it. I can charm any man in the world. Everyone except for Asbane. Oh, <laughs> want Irene. I guess. You're just gonna have to wait and find out. Hmm. I hate her, and if she wasn't a moral, I'd slip poison her chocolate milk at lunch. Ooh, I wonder if her mother knows that she's here. What are you gonna do? Tell her mom? No, because she's not gonna do anything. Irene's a grown woman. She doesn't have to listen to her mother anymore. Okay, then how are you going to stop her? I don't even know what she's doing down here. For all I know, she could be down here to taunt me with her presence. 
Well, I think I just figured it out. <laughs> yeah, for Anthony. Oh, aren't you a cute one? I mean, I, I think I know you. <laughs> Maybe you met somebody who looks like me, but I can assure you if you met me, you would never forget it. I'm Irene. It's you, you're the girl from Valerie's Fast. You're the reason she's cursed. Shh. You will love me. I will love you. Okay, I wish it was that easy the first time around. But why? It seems like you don't even care too much about him. I care about him, but I'm not about to cry about him wanting to keep his distance. She probably thinks you're in love with him or something. Did she really come all the way down from the heavens to take a high school boy that I went on one date with? That's petty. <laughs> I love it. What? <laughs> what? I need somebody to entertain my foolishness. She's not your friend. I am. Best friend, I'm joking, and you know it. Jay, she took everything from me. You have to stay away from her. I will. I'll avoid her like the plague or whatever you said. Once she realizes that I can care less about her coming down here and charming Anthony, she'll leave. She'll go back to the heavens and maybe leave me for another century or two. What does she have to do for it to work? All she has to do is look him in his eyes, then. Voila, he's in love with her. Doesn't that bother you just like a little bit here? No, because I know it isn't real. She has to use her magic to get him to like her. I just exist. We are not the same. Look at Anthony. Do you think she did it already? That boy is practically drooling over her, so yeah, I think it worked. I lied. I knew it hurt. He said he felt for me. Felt my pain, my agony, my curse. And now he's entangled with my deepest enemy. Val. Valerie. W what? What's wrong? I, I gotta go. The bell's gonna ring. All right. Uh, I'll see you later. Hey, girly. Hey, Em. So, how was your date with Anthony and you? <laughs> it was great. Tell me the details then. Well, I... Where is he anyways? <laughs> Sorry, I'm leaving this, P. I had a little situation in hallway. <laughs> I'm guessing the situation involves a lady judging by the mark on your cheek. Do these things on your own time, Mr. Cortez. Ooh, Valerie, that's a pretty shade of lipstick you left on here. It's not mine. But I thought you guys... What's up, Emma? Hey, so what happened with you and Valerie? Because that don't want her lips printed on your vape. It's not. It's someone better. Are you serious? Just yesterday you were saying how much you were in love with her. Uh, I never loved her. I'm in love with Irene. You're a pig. <laughs> you look like one. Today's topic <laughs> is love. It's the biggest insp inspiration for so many types of music. There are 1,175 songs that have the word love in it. Now, of course, not all love songs are about being in love, just as many are inspired by heartbreaks. Love is a feeling, an overwhelming emotion. Some may say it's the most powerful emotion, and emotion makes the best type of music. Okay, we get it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Moving on. Today, we're going to be covering instrumental music and discussing how love was expressed when words were common in music. As I was saying, the date was perfect, but today he woke up and decided that he wanted nothing to do with me. That explains all the tension I feel. The tension you feel is in your imagination. When we're done, I want you all to write a song inspired by love, whether it's a love song or a heartbreak one. Today's topic is a little ironic. Emerald, please shut up. I am not hurt or heartbroken. I can care less about Anthony and his little siren. Sounds like it, because you're saying some pretty offensive stuff about her. Sounds like you might be jealous. I'm not jealous, but you're nosy, so stay out of my business. 
have a rap about the little Molly. Oh, Valerie, looks like you're in for a treat. Look, I'm just as excited as you are to find out who this mystery girl is, but it isn't me. My deepest apologies for assuming. All right, public service announcement. Me and Anthony are not together. Everyone can stop assuming. We're not a thing and we don't like each other. Okay then. Well, Anthony, do you want to share your rap with us? No, I think I keep to myself this time. Does anyone else want to share? Irene wants nothing more than to taunt me for eternity. I thought for a moment. <laughs> I thought I saw Asbane in him. His, his charm. His eyes. So you do care? Of course I do. And I'm just acting like I don't because it hurts less. I'm sorry, love. I spent centuries. Centuries. <laughs> Looking for someone that reminded me of him. And that's how we found that. Sweetie, if Asbane acted like that, I don't think he was any good for you. It's not the way that he acts. It's his soul. When I look into it, the little that I can see, I see a piece of Asbane. will ever satisfy you. <laughs> That's not true at all. Besides, as of now, he's in love with Irene. She is a woman now, and I cannot stop her from the decision she makes. But I will say this to you, to stay away from my daughter. You will not poison her with your jealous mind. <laughs> she turned out like that all on her own. Vengeful, spiteful, full of rage and longing for attention. I think she'd go along just well with those humans. I hope she will learn her lesson this time. I believe Aslan will be broken from her charm and come to his senses. It is not her charm that pulled him away from Zenobia. She managed to push him away all on her own. He knows of her curse and her abilities, but still has failed to recognize who he is. Your own son was shown his past life and doesn't recognize himself. A god. But you expect Zenobia to be able to do it. The self we see in the mirror is only perception. Others see us for who we really are. She may as well know Asbane better than himself. She will see, and so shall he. And when they reunite and the curse is lifted, I will personally help Asbane rain down hell on you. If acting holier than thou helps you sleep at night, so be it. Although, it does concern me how you pretend you had no parts in this curse. After all, you had a little brazzle-dazzle. Mind your words, Drestia, because shall they fail, I will ruin you. <laughs> if only you had the power. I'm going to buy three roses and does some each day been together. You mean each day you've known each other? I mean, I know you hate Valerie now, but you're going all out for a chick you just met. Don't mention Valerie. <laughs> and whatever. All I'm saying is that you need to slow down. You really do, bro. I don't like this new girl either. For one, she popped up out of nowhere. She moved here from Florida. That's not out of nowhere. The whole school is falling at this girl's feet, and she picked you. <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean? That she's too fine to walk around with you on her arm. <laughs> I mean, I saw her talking to Valerie yesterday, and it didn't look like it was going too well. Valerie was talking to her. I swear that girl really knew. Uh, Irene went up to her. You gonna tell him that? Nah. I'm gonna let his rage run its course. <laughs> Valerie. First of all, I need you to adjust your tone when you're talking to me. I don't care what you need me to do. Why don't you just stop talking to my girl? We're done. It's over. Stop being a weirdo and move on. <laughs> Go to hell. That's where I'm going to put you if you talk to my girl again. Yeah. 
Wait, what did I miss? Nothing. Irene came up to Valerie when I saw them talking. Valerie didn't do anything. Okay, now she knows the next time. What you gonna do if she does? Harder? If it comes to it. Man, I don't know you. What? You're not my brother. Because my brother would never lay a hand on a female. Especially when he claims he's love. Just last week you were saying how in love you are. And now you're ready to hurt her? This new girl you got, she's the one that really don't mean you no good, Anthony. So I'm not your brother now. You picking some girl you barely met two weeks ago over me, who you only met because of me. She was going to be the reason I died. What don't you understand about that? I can spend some bullshit like this with none of them from you. I'm not picking sides, bro. I'm telling you the truth. If you want to hate Valerie in silence, then cool. But you said yourself it's not her fault that she's cursed. That she has no control over her fate. What? You feel sorry for her or something? Yeah. I do, because even after you dissed her, she still loved your dumb ass and gave you a second chance. And you know what? I bet she would still love you now. I don't care. I don't give no damn about her. You don't mean that. Or I'm not your brother. <laughs> now you're telling me how I feel. You know what? You're right. I don't even want to know how you feel. You're the one who changed Anthony. I don't even want to know the kind of thoughts that are running through your head now. He thinks I'm a monster because I fell in love with the girl. She took my world and she painted it with her name. She dealt with me and she felt for me. Valerie. Valerie, where is Valerie? Oh no, you've always been such a hard one to charm. What are you, what did you do to me? I'm the love of your life, remember? Irene. That's right. And, do you love me? Yes. And do you love Valerie? Only you. Good. Very good. Hey, Valerie? Lana. Hey. I wanted to apologize for Anthony. You know boys are stupid. <laughs> he did it. I'm not sure. I know, I know, but I have this kind of guilt by association. Everyone thinks I'm some bitter fling that's trying to ruin his new relationship. Everyone's on his side. So you have no guilt to feel. I don't know about you, but I don't measure my guilt based on how everybody else feels about it. Anthony told me about your curse. Don't, don't trip. <laughs> your secret's safe with me. I've been keeping Dum Dum's secret for like what, the last 17 years now? Thanks, but that's your brother. I don't expect that same kind of loyalty. Aren't you breaking some kind of bro code by talking to me right now? Yeah, but I wanted to tell you that. He loves you. He won't admit it to you, but he does. Oh, yeah. He's got a special way of showing it. Yeah, it's, it's complicated. I'm too old for complicated. How old are you anyways? Like, you know, rebirth years and everything? <laughs> like 2,427? <laughs> Dang, so you was like, what, alive before Jesus? I remember when the words of his teachings hit Europe. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> You're a sweetheart, truly, but... I think you should get back to your brother. I know you don't want him upset with you. You don't know that. I looked into your soul. I know you better than you know yourself. Why didn't you do it to Anthony then? Um, I found it harder than usual. I can't clearly see his future and I can only see a glimpse of his soul. You can't see his future? No, even when he showed me himself, it was a blur. Then you don't know. Don't know what? Nothing, nothing. I gotta go. Francis, bro! 
What? What do you want? I talked to Valerie. Why? You already know how Anthony's been acting. If somebody tells him that she was talking to him, he gonna trip. Whatever. I don't care. Listen, Valerie can't see Anthony's future. She told me today that even when he tried to show her the vision he had of them, it was like a huge blur for her. Okay, and what's that supposed to mean? It means she doesn't know she'd be the cause of his death if they stayed together. So, she's not as evil as Anthony thinks she is? She loves him, and now he suddenly hates her, and she has no idea why. I mean, what are we supposed to do about it, though? Telling him won't change anything. I know. I know. I mean, I wanted to tell her. Maybe she understands if she knew why he was acting the way he was. No, don't do it. That one might hurt a little too much. You're right. What y'all talking about? What? Nothing. Well, all right. I'm going out with Irene. All right, peace. Have fun. Y'all not going to ask, like, where I'm going or what we're doing? Nope. I don't really care, to be honest. Vote for Irene and Anthony for prom king and queen. We're going to prom. Of course, silly. And when I win, I'll crush Valerie. She's not running for queen. I don't even think she's going. <laughs> she has to go. She has to see me win. You talk a lot about Valerie. Actually, you never shut up about her. So what? Whose side are you on? Yours. I'll choose you over the world. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I once thought you would never love me, but now <laughs> you're all mine. I was yours from the moment I met you. And as long as I hold this charm on you, you'll never betray me. A charm? I never said a thing, my love. Now, hurry home. I'll see you tomorrow. He's constantly slipping. How many times you ever had to recharm him to keep him under your spell? Three times already. It's not my fault. His mind always finds a way to wander back to Zenobia. From my understanding, your bitterness makes you talk about her relentlessly. Perhaps if you kept her name off your lips, you wouldn't have to charm him so often. It is harming to keep him under this constant control. What is the holdup? I tried to make him love me without using the charm, but he was so engulfed with her to pay me any attention. It was the only way I could make him fall. You pathetic little girl. After all this time, you still can't do something as simple as steal the heart of my son. Zenobia did that with such ease, even as a human. What will I do if I can't make him love me? There is no can't because you will. If you want revenge on Zenobia, you will find a way. I'll try harder. I promise. Do not make me come back down here. Really, Jay, I don't want to go. But it'll be fun. We'll look so good together. No, because Irene is going to be there making a scene when she wins prom queen. Now I want to hear her making a 15-minute speech about it. You don't even know if she's going to win. Yes, I do. Because she's going to use her magic to charm everyone to vote for her and Anthony. Well, don't let her ruin one of the most important dates in your high school career. I've been to enough prom times in my lifetime. Okay, pal. You're depriving me of my experience, though. If you care that much, I'll go with you next year. <sighs> Alright. I'll let you open home, but I'm going. It's Anthony. Ooh. Answer it. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, I can't believe you actually picked up. Yeah, that makes two of us. I want to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to stop playing like that. It's Irene. She has this hold on me. I know. You do? She's a siren, but that only explains half of it. The day after our date, you didn't want to be next to me. 
He didn't want to talk to me. And that was before Irene decided to come back from the heavens and ruin my life again. She's a siren and you didn't think to tell me. You told me not to talk to you, remember? Right. And I'm sorry about that. I really didn't mean to hurt you. So can you forgive me? No, so screw off. Yes. No one's going to talk to my best friend like that and expect to walk them their way back into their lives. Okay, now go. I'm tired. What? Are you really tired or are you just going to talk to the gods again and you don't want me here? I guess we'll never know. How'd it go? She told me to screw off. <laughs> you deserve that. I know. I guess there's only one thing to do. What? Get ready for prom. Okay, but first, here. What's this? I told Abuela about Irene, and he said she was probably like some siren or something, so he made this for you so her charm can't fit you. Did I tell you not to tell a little anything? And I'm the oldest, so I don't care. What am I supposed to do with it? Dream for the next time you see her, and it'll prevent her from charming you ever again. I'm going to say a problem, but until then, I'll just avoid her. I don't know, man. She don't look like the type to handle things like that. She'll be okay. Here you go with all this bohidia. Bro, even you know it's real. That don't mean I want to hear about it every day. I swear, ever since we met Valerie, our lives have been like an episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Okay, what do you think? I think you're gonna sell somebody girl and they man because they look good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I look better next to you. I really appreciate you coming with me. I'll be there in spirit. You can even FaceTime me if you want to, but I don't want you to. I want you to enjoy yourself. Oh, honey. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> As you should. Make me proud. I will. And when I say rain, I'll spill juice on her dress for you. Do it and make sure you take pictures. Wow, this is it. Our right, senior prom. My senior prom? And y'all better not ruin it. Now, Anthony, drink up. <laughs> well, the party didn't even start yet. I mean, the potion, you idiot. Oh, all right. <laughs> is Irene already in here? I told her how I meet her here, because I wanted to see my reaction when I see how pretty she looks in the dress. <laughs> That's literally the corniest thing I've heard all day. Whatever, it worked. You guys think Valerie's gonna be here? Problem is, I'm not kind of thing unless Jalen drug her here. Hey, you! How do I look? Amazing. Do I look like a queen? <laughs> As always. Did it work? I think so. Come on, come dance with me. And as the night passed and the clock ticked, I was stressed. Her problem with a bad chick. She was the daughter of two gods. She only brought rain in, rain in my life. She controlled my senses and left me senseless. And I just wanted that way. This night is everything I imagined it to be. Valerie. What did you say? Valerie, that's all I want right now. But the charm. I took a potion, I broke your charm. You can't affect me anymore. Why am I never enough for you? I just seen your class sponsor. I would like to announce the moment you've all been waiting for. Our class of 2019 prom queen and queen are. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Irene Trotten Anthony Cortez. Oh my god! I won! Please don't act surprised. It's just annoying. I just want to say thank you to everybody who voted for me and a special thanks to Anthony for making this night so special. Anthony, come up here. Anthony! Anthony! Zenovia. Who's Zenovia? 
Valerie is Zenobia, and I'm not a masking. I think Anthony has more important things to do, Irene. What could possibly be more important than right now? He's going to Zenobia. Wait, how did you know about... Oh, don't you recognize a goddess when you see one? Aphrodite. I feel always as being in favor, and I intended to repay him one life for the next. Plus, I won't let anyone get in the way of true love. Oh, oh crap, that, that makes sense now. What? How does any of this make sense? I'll explain it to you later. Anthony, you go before you lose it forever. <laughs> Shut up. Why? Karma, I pray to you. Have I been forgiven? Yes, I will watch you suffer no more. But are you sure you wish to give up your sight? You have become dependent on it. I'm sure. I want to live life with surprises. I know Mariah will never lift her part of the curse, but at least I'll be free of this. Before I do, there's something I must tell you. Oh no, don't tell me you can't do it. It's about Asvane. He is here, on Earth with you. He always has been, in every lifetime you have met again. But I have erased those memories, for I thought you'd be better off without them. It has come to my realization that because of my constant erasing, it became harder and harder for you to recognize Asvane's soul when you encountered it. Anthony. Is Anthony Asvane? You are correct. <laughs> Does he know? Does he remember? Because right now he kind of hates me, and I don't know why. What's Irene done to him? I'm afraid Irene isn't completely to blame this time. He saw his death when he met you. Quite possibly a stored memory from his past life. He was afraid, as any young man would be. I knew of his identity soon after you summoned me. I was forbade from telling you by Morai. Asvane's soul has wandered the earth, looking when it could be nearest to you, since his first death. He never gave up. Take it away, take it away right now. I can't anticipate another horror moment of my life. It sounds like Irene is upset, but I'll deal with her later. See your last visions, my child. I'm ready. I address the goddess of karma. Exempty from your curse of never ending sight. How does it feel to be free? When I'm truly free, I'll let you know. Don't sound so ungrateful. No, I apologize, but I can't help to think about how I'm damned to this earth forever. I've had Asbane all along, and I knew there was a reason why I was drawn to Anthony. What will you do now? I'm going to sleep. Irene's already causing a storm. If I ruin her prom night, she'll conjure up a hurricane. I'll tell Anthony tomorrow. She can have her last night with him. Everything had been predictable, but... Anthony was unexpected. My personal hurricane. He brought me laughter and trouble. He'd give me gum just to pop the bubble. He was as been in another life, but a product of his environment. And I thought everything would be all right, but fate has always controlled my life. Jay, there's so much I have to tell you. First of all, man, that storm, Irene must have been pissed. And then addressed you, the goddess of karma. She took away my sight. I don't have it anymore. You don't know, do you? What? What don't I know? Last night, Anthony, he... No. He died last night. 
he was driving in, in the storm. Yeah. No, no. Valerie, <laughs> come on, get up. It's going to be okay. Fate took him away from me. My last words, I can't take those back. I can't take anything back. Irene's anger caused the storm. She took him away from you. He was leaving to go see Val. <laughs> Leanna said that before Anthony left. He said he was going to see Zenobia. He was coming to me? Him and Irene won from King and Queen. But right when they announced the winners, Anthony left to go find you. He was asking. <laughs> I couldn't see his future because inside, he was a guy. I knew him because he was asking. The blurred visions and the overwhelming emotions were memories trying their best to resurface. You told me not to worry that I could do anything. You can. <laughs> Just like you'll make it through this. When Asne died, I died the death of a hiatus. I cried until my heart gave out. And I was glad to be released <laughs> from this pain so that I wouldn't have to live in a life without Asbane. But this curse, this awful curse forced me to be reborn again with the memory of the pain and the agony. I will never be free. <laughs> I have lost the love of my life again. And I will be there in every life. To help you through this pain. And you can tell me about every good time that we've had and every bad one. You're my best friend. I could never stay mad at you. And I could never stay away from you. I guess I have forgiven you for Catalina. You remember? Everything's coming back to me now. Okay. That means that this is the end. What? How? This is when the curse starts. It's calm before the storm. You remember everything, then you remember nothing. I think I find it isn't easy. You'll forget again. Is this goodbye? How long do you have? I feel my heart breaking as we speak. It's not fair. Who's going to go to prom with me? <laughs> Kaylee, you'll find a date. I saw it in a vision. I want to go home. Come on. I guess after all this, you deserve to face your fate in the comfort of your own bed. It feels like Romeo and Juliet. Two star-crossed lovers. You can't live without each other. Except I'm not committing suicide over a boy I met two days ago. <laughs> I remember dancing with you in Denmark at the Duke's Ball. You were Sophia and I was a mule. That was 300 years ago, and I kept stepping on your toes. <laughs> It didn't stop the whole room from watching me. I think that's why they were watching us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dance with you again someday. Maybe at prom in our next life. In our next life, I want you to take me to Garia, the place where you were born in Zenobia. I, I can't. Garia doesn't exist anymore. After I was cursed, it was destroyed. <laughs> they said as guardians reached too close to heavens, we became a threat. Are you the last one? Me and you both. 
Wait, me? I guess that's a memory that hasn't returned yet. You've been my closest friend in every life, including my first one. Those have the best memories. What was my name? You won't believe me, but you were a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and your name was Peony. The goddess Mariah wasn't too fond of your love of men, so she reincarnated you as one. <laughs> I think she says that she did nothing. <laughs> Goodbye, Valerie. I love you always. Don't say goodbye. I could be here tomorrow. You never know. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. I wonder if you're happy, Mother. My son has returned home as happy as a mother could be. How was it? Watch me die, but 146 times. My sweet child, it breaks my heart every single time. It doesn't, because if it did, you would end the curse. If you wish to be foolish and die for this girl time and time again, I will not stop you. You place the blame on everyone except for the woman responsible. Irene, every time Irene jealousy, which is egged on by you and my addict, causes my death. Indeed, but it is so much more amusing to blame Zenobia. You don't care about me or my feelings. Of course I do. You've always been my favorite child, and that's why it pains me to see you do this to yourself time and time again. Then I'll stop. Finally! You can stay here with me and we can... You no, know, I don't mean that either. I will let my soul disappear into nothingness. I will be nowhere gone forever. You will never see me again. You don't mean that. That would stop you from seeing Zenobia. I can't bear to watch her like this anymore. Lifetime, a lifetime of losing me. Each time she dies with a broken heart, as if her soul can exist without mine. If that's not true love, I don't know what is. If you love me the way she did, you'll understand. I'll consider it. <laughs> Bye, mother. Please, you're being ridiculous. No, I am being weak, and I'll be the first to admit it. I am so tired. Immortality is the worst curse wrapped up in paper that says blessings. You chose to live like this. You did this to yourself for her. I would do anything for her. She's the love of my life, mother. Don't you see? No matter what happens, I find my way back to her. The heavens, the stars, hell, all lined up so we can be together. But you and your jealousy that you try to disgrace as grief, you are the one thing that's constantly tearing us apart. You do not love me, mother. <laughs> Don't you dare speak to me about my love for you. I clothed you and I bathed you and I carried you in my womb and I protected you. And do you really believe that makes up for letting me die time and time again? I did not ask to be created. You did not have your own free will, mother. I asked you to love me and protect me and over the last two millenniums, you have failed to do both. I'll lift it. I do love you. You are my child. I can't let this selfishness take control any longer. I am sorry for all that I've done to you. I failed you as a mother, truly. It will take centuries more for me to undo the damage I've done, but I'm willing to start now. I said I'm pretty. In my final days, have I paid the price for touching things too pure for my blood? You loved my son in every life and every form unconditionally, which is something I failed to do. <laughs> my God, you finally answered me. I'll reverse the fate I have written and undo the damage I've done. I, Mirai, God is a fate lift the curse of endless reincarnation that I bestowed upon me. That means that this is truly it. <laughs> my last life. Yes, but you have so much more of it to live. As it was done in the human world, I am strong enough to reverse it. Liana and Francis have lost a brother, and he shall be returned. You're going to bring me back to life. I'll make it so that you never died to begin with. 
I will stop Irene's storm, and you will make it to Zenobia safely. Now close your eyes, because in five, four, three, two, one. Zenobia. Who's Zenobia? <laughs> Valerie is Zenobia. And I'm, I'm, I'm Asni. I think Anthony is more important than to Irene. What could possibly be more important than right now? He's going to Zenobia. Wait, how did you know about- Don't you recognize a goddess when you see one? <sighs> Aphrodite. I still owe to Asni a favor, and I intended to repay him in one life for the next. Plus, I won't let anyone get in the way of true love. Oh, crap. That makes sense now. What? How does any of this make sense? I'll explain it to you later. Anthony, go before you lose her forever. Valerie, Valerie, open up. Anthony, what are you doing? I remember everything. Zenobia, it's me. Look into my eyes, it's me. It's me. I promised to love you forever and I did. I'm sorry about everything before it wasn't me. It was my mother and she was, <laughs> she. It's okay. So you really are stuck with me forever. And ever. So you do have a heart. Tell no one. But he's mine. <sighs> Shush, Irene. I'm watching this.